Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your 2023 yearly general reading. This reading is for anyone that has a placement in the sign of Sagittarius, such as Ascendant, Sun or Moon. Also, please have in mind that this is not a private reading, but a general one. So, take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest behind. In this reading, I'm actually going to have a look in each individual month from the year 2023 for Sagittarius, just to have a more detailed investigation of what most likely might be happening for you. And then, at the end of the reading, I'm gonna pull two cards from the Major Arcana deck, just to see the energy, the way that it transitions for you, from the end of 2022 up till the end of 2023. So, Sagittarius, Stay with me and let's see what year 2023 has in store for you. So, let's start with January. And we have the Seven of Wands energy. Then, for the month of February, we have Ace of Pentacles. Then, in the month of March, we have page of cups sagittarius i believe you are going to have a, a very strong beginning of the year finding yourself in a very favorable position to take charge to take care of your business of your creative projects anything to do with your passions and uh, seems to me you're going to be able to defend yourself from any attack any competition whatever might be trying to, you know, pull you off, off the top, so to speak. And um, this is you with your power, more or less on top of the world. This is how I see you. Very, very strong in control of what the year 2023 might be offering to you. It's like you have all the willpower, the motivation, the insight, you know, energy and outside approach to really take care and get whatever you want to protect and achieve also for the year to follow. And then the month of February is presenting a great opportunity to you. For some of you, this might be an expected amount of money falling in your lap. For some others, it might be a brand new job offer or a brand new project all of a sudden appearing on the horizon with a promise to really bring you material benefits. It's a brand new material beginning. For those of you that are thinking about starting a new job, a new career path, leaving a company, starting their own company or changing your existing position for a position in another company this is a very good month indicating a new material beginning this might be a beginning to do with new resources new money new ideas that are coming to existence and uh, all, all of a sudden starting to materialize for you to develop then we have the month of march and we have the Page of Cups. And this might be for some of you an offer coming from, an emotional offer coming from a younger person. Or for some of you might be actually a brand new inspiration, an emotional realization about a potential. Potential that might be presented already from the Ace of Pentacles. All of a sudden, you might be finding yourself enthusiastic again for the potential that this new development might be bringing. Or some of you might really get inspired to follow something that they think it's a childlike dream, a childlike fantasy of them, of theirs. So, either way good emotional 
month of March for you Sagittarius. Let me see now April for Sagittarius in the year 2023 and we have the strength card. Then May for Sagittarius it's actually the star. Very good. And let me see now for the month of June we have nine of cups. Sagittarius, little by little, the year for you is unfolding to be a very victorious one. In the month of April, there is certain victory that you're gonna achieve. You might be overcoming a blockage from before to do with some... It actually can do with anything. It's a victory overcoming something that was worrying you before that you were not able to control. It's like, for example, a demon from your subconscious that it's put in the right place so that it doesn't bother you anymore. But nevertheless, this is the card of Leo. It, it indicates that you might be achieving a victory following your heart's true desire. Because this is what this card is representing. If you are not sure in the month of April how to receive, how to achieve certain victory, certain strength to be utilized in order to get something that you want, trust your heart. Trust your heart's desire. It will never mislead you. And whatever you, whatever the effort you put in actually in the month of April, <laughs> it's going to be opening a brand new chapter in your ear because in May, you're going to be not only healing yourself, not only finding your path easily, but you're going to fall under the influence of lucky circumstances. It's like the stars are guiding you through whatever situation in order for you to be completely emotionally satisfied in the month of June. These are really positive cards for the month of April, May and June. I believe that this process for you getting exactly what you want and what you desire actually starts from January and little by little brings you there you're gonna have a very dynamic positive first six months of year 2023 something that you desire a lot it's gonna be appearing you're gonna in your life you're gonna be completely emotionally satisfied by your own efforts so don't be shy to face any troubles any problems any enemies because the star and the nine of cups for the next two months from April, May and June are actually assuring you that whatever you want to achieve, it's going to be achieved and you're going to be extremely emotionally satisfied. So choose wisely what is worth fighting for, what is worth, you know, putting your energy and your focus on from the beginning of the year. And then let's see the month of July for Sagittarius and we have the King of Swords energy. Then in August, Two of Swords and then in September, we have the moon. So, the first six months going the right way, exactly as you want them to go, you overcoming any potential enemies, problems, situations, feeling lucky, receiving exactly what you want. It's actually allowing you 
to put a bigger strategy, a bigger vision for the second half of the year. And your strategy, it's a visionary one. King of Swords is someone that has the brains, has the will, and the willpower to get exactly what they want. This is a strategic person that knows how to utilize everything that they have in order to receive, achieve their highest potential. And this is you. I believe that the first six months are going to give you the needed support and the reason for you to become really bold and wise and to really strategize about the second half of the year and then in the month of august actually you might be you know split by two ideas two options or just have a little doubt about everything that it's up to come this is a not a very predominant energy also this is the month of august which is a month of usually of vacation holiday so it might be you wondering where to go for vacation <laughs> i'm just kidding it's not that simple but it's normal when you have big expectations for yourself for your future to have a temporary setback when you're not exactly clear on every little detail of every little information how to utilize it where exactly to place your effort but this is a temporary energy and it leads us to the month of September and then we have a situation which is not going to be easy for you to understand not by using your eyes because actually this is the moon it's a card of things being unclear being not easy to read you know this might be some fraud around you tricksters that try to play tricks on you trying to prevent you to see what you need to see really in this energy first the advice is always to follow your intuition and stay true to yourself no matter you know what mystery the situation might represent for the month of september and then i believe that you're still gonna be finding your path no matter how unclear it might seem let me see in the month of october for sagittarius 2023 we have the magician then in the month of november we have six of swords and then in december for you sagittarius we actually have nine of wands Sagittarius, I believe that you're going to be finding your path in the unclear situation in the month of September. Because in the next period, in October, you're going to have a certain realization that you actually have everything you need. Which means that all these energies from the month of August then September, you are going to be managed successfully going through these periods, probably keeping this idea from the beginning of the year to lead you. And you're not going to be making a mistake because you're going to be completely ready to start something new on top of all unclarity, all you know, Possible blockages, yeah, but still, strong position for you in the month of October, giving you opportunity to start something new, to really materialize an idea, project, a talent, put it into work, put it into action, really making it happen. And then you will find yourself in the month of November, Moving out from the toxicity of the previous few months, if there is any, but it's actually a card that indicates that your 
stress factor is going to be disappearing little by little you are going to be managing to utilize your clear sight clear view of what the future holds for you how to get there for some of you this might indicate actually traveling traveling through water going on a boat trip either way but something with water and you moving on relaxing your mind releasing to toxicity negativity all the stress and then in the month of december you're going to be standing strong in your own belief in your own faith protecting what is the most important thing to you and you are just one step away from ending you know a very stagnated and heavy period probably because this is the card of no matter how many hits you take you still keep your ground you don't move a step away from what is the most important thing to you this is strength this is determination this is the ability to be resilient to whatever attacks to whatever you know wrongdoing of others you survive and not only survive you still carry this idea and uh, having all these cards first let me clarify for you first i'm gonna clarify this page of cups in the month of march for sagittarius 2023 and it's gonna be the hierophant then the two of swords in the month of august what is this hesitation what is this blockage for sagittarius we have the high priestess and then the moon energy for Sagittarius 2023 month of September three of cups I believe that in the month of March with this new inspiration that you might find to go after something that is making you emotionally happy and satisfied actually you're going to have either the support of someone that is really you know resourceful not only in terms of money but also in terms of knowledge wisdom somebody that knows how to support your emotional affair or your emotional approach to a talent that you had and you really want to put into the world like start working on it take lessons or whatever the expression of this might be but the hierophant is also you being traditional you following the normal way the traditional way of things happening being conservative and not letting the emotions you know mislead you and then in the month of august this temporary blockage that you might have it's actually gonna be an opportunity for you to really get in touch with your inner knowledge your capacity to find potential in any situation and it's actually the energy that is going to be supporting you greatly when you have to deal with the moon energy presented in the month of September wherever the unclear situation is for you in the month of September from August you're gonna develop a skill a knowledge an awareness how to deal with it and you're gonna do such a good of a job that you're actually going to celebrate there is some result that you're going to achieve in the month of September that you're gonna celebrate this is how I see it the process is starting actually July you hit the wall in August you 
go in your intuitive approach through things again go inside of you find your highest potential utilize it in order to also move forward in the month of september through this unknown and clear situation and you actually are going to be celebrating and i'm gonna pull just an extra card for this nine of wands energy because i'm curious to find if the cards allowed me what is that you are standing for what is so precious to you wow <laughs> i was <laughs> hesitating that the cards are going to give me an answer because it was you know just my instinct but then it's your card it's you you are really from the beginning of the year to the end of the year it's the true self the idea of you in your own power in your own energy best energy it's you you protect yourself the identity that you have the most precious thing to do with your potential whatever you treasure the most about yourself and this is also a card that it's giving me the information that you're gonna manage to successfully put yourself whatever you appreciate about yourself the most as a key to fit in any scenario in any bigger picture in any new system of beliefs in any new situation it's you that you are protecting it's you and the idea of you your essence from the beginning of the year to the end of the year wow as i look through the year i also want to share with you that since the month of march for two and a half three years saturn the planet of karma the planet of time the planet of the hardest lessons but also the planet that you know can support you probably the most in your journey it's actually leaving the sign of aquarius and it's moving to the sign of pisces and actually it's going to give you hard aspects for the next two and a half three years period up front to come up till probably the almost the very end of 2025 so please be careful because ever since march up till the end of 2025 all the decisions that you take especially the long-term decisions they gonna be provoking the test master saturn to check if you really deserve it if it really belongs to you so this is as we call as i call it in astrology saturnian aspect these are hard aspects please be aware of that Sagittarius because for example if you don't make the right choices they're gonna have long-term consequences on you this is Saturn <laughs> in March starting to give you hard aspects overall the year looks like whatever you think it's worth fighting for and i think this is you you to be authentic in yourself in your belief system into the faith that you carry with you for any development this is what you're going to be protecting successfully it's like you are going to be defending yourself from anything that is not aligning with your idea of who you are where you belong and what is the most important thing to you i believe that this is going to be a year that it's going to be testing the very essence of you sagittarius it's going to be giving you all the opportunities to actually achieve and not only to achieve but it's going to give you these achievements that you have the first six months of the year they're gonna give you the foundation to put 
a brand new strategy and a brand new vision for who you want to become after receiving achieving certain success so this is a very productive year and not only that it's gonna be testing you few times at least so get ready you're going to be tested for your abilities for your belief system for your talents everything Sagittarius but I think you're gonna do just fine to be honest there is more positivity and more upbeat vibe in your reading than the most early readings so Sagittarius you're going to be among the lucky ones also the first half of 2023 actually Jupiter your avatar planet is going to be in areas and it's going to be greatly supporting you especially into the area of children into the area of creative self-expression and this might be in the under the form of your own private business your own private company you being independent in your money making mechanism whatever that is for you Sagittarius so let me now pull two cards that are going to give me the information for, for the energetic development where you coming from entering year 2022 and we have the wheel of fortune card of Jupiter and where are you going at the end of 2023 energetically speaking so let's see what also is going to be happening for you so we have the moon mm. so you enter year 2023 really really strong in your faith in your belief having the momentum in which everything is going the right way and then little by little you get to a situation that is not so easy to read much more complicated much more you know literally situation in which you are not going to be able to see for what it is there is going to be some delusion some unclear energy that you coming strong and bold from 2022 are going to be tested and your testing is starting probably let me see in the month of September from the month of September you are actually going to be entering a period in which you're going to be tested on many levels and I mean are you having everything you need in order to move forward can you release any additional stress toxicity and move forward in glory in a, with a peace of mind and can you really stand for what you believe in Sagittarius these are the tests and the hardships that might be coming from this moon energy because I don't want to lie to you the moon is mystery is a situation in which you cannot see clearly basically anything and you're coming from the wheel of fortune good momentum having it all worldly success if you like you're gonna stumble with this energy a bit so Sagittarius get ready because things are getting serious furthermore in the year 2023 and most likely this is not the prediction that you want to be hearing but it is what it is don't shoot the messenger i'm just giving you what i see i mean i'm reading the energies for you and at the end of this reading since things are getting a bit serious i'm gonna be pulling a card from my special zen deck that i really really love a lot just to see what supportive idea mantra 
or wisdom might be helping you in this period and since jupiter is near orange purplish i'm gonna be pulling one of these cards for you and you have the present wow <laughs> the past is over the future will never come now is the only moment that will ever exist therefore live each second to the fullest i think this is a precious piece of advice when it comes for you sagittarius little by little getting into more sophisticated and hard to read situation with the development of 2023 Sagittarius you are the third fire by the Kabbalah the most sophisticated one they actually use the term black fire this is a mysterious fire please remember this when you have to face any darkness you are the black fire you can burn any unclear situation and i have a strong belief that this is going to be the case for you in the year 2023 i hope this reading was at least entertaining you please let me know how you feel about it like share comment and i really wish to you to have an incredible 2023 and get on top of any mystery sagittarius i'll see you soon for your next reading have a wonderful 2023.